All right, scouters, pop quiz. I'm gonna read a list of requirements and you tell me which program and which rank it belongs to. Ready? Here we go. Repeat from memory, the scout oath, the scout law, the scout motto, and the scout slogan. Explain what scout spirit is. Demonstrate or give the scout sign, the scout salute, and the scout handshake. Describe the four steps to advancement. Describe what merit badges are and how they're earned. Explain the patrol method. Show how to tie the square knot, the taw line hitch, two half hitches, and explain what they're used for. Whip and fuse the end of a rope. Do you know which badge and which program those requirements belong to? Stick around and find out. Welcome back scouters, it's the Cespi Scouter. Now if you listen to that list of requirements and you said to yourself, hey, that sounds a lot like the scout rank for Scouts BSA, you're correct. And if you listen to that list of requirements and you said, hey, that sounds like the scouting adventure for the Arrow of Light for Cub Scouts, well, you're correct. Now 14 of the 18 individual requirements listed to earn the scout rank for Scouts BSA are almost identical to 14 of the requirements for the scouting adventure badge for Cub Scouts. Now if you have a den chief, this is a fantastic opportunity for you to bridge the gap between a Cub Scout pack and a Scouts BSA troop. Den chiefs should be very familiar with all these requirements and should have very little problem explaining and demonstrating these to some Weeblos. Now as a Scoutmaster, I highly encourage any of my Scouts who have previously been Cub Scouts to go back and serve a pack as a Den Chief. It's a fantastic way for them to give back to the pack that helped build them up to the Scouts BSA level and it also serves as a great recruiting tool for you to bring new Scouts into your troop. As a Scoutmaster, I like to reach out to as many of the local packs as possible and offer up my services to come and talk to their Arrow of Light Scouts, specifically for the Scouting Adventure Badge. Now, if I've been invited to speak to a group of Arrow of Light Scouts, I use that to my advantage to help explain the difference between how Cub Scouts operates and Scouts BSA operates. This is a great meeting to make sure that those Weeblos parents are in attendance too. Now normally what I'll do is I'll sit all the Weeblos down, I'll introduce myself, hi Mr. Orlmans, I'm the Scoutmaster, yada yada yada, but then I ask them, okay, we're going to treat you Scouts as if you're already bridged up into my troop and we are going to plan a camp out. Now I'll get a whiteboard out or a chalkboard or something and I'll turn to the Scouts and I'll say, okay, where are you going camping? Now usually they'll stop and they'll look around to each other and they'll also look back at their leader, at their parents, and I say, no, 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 wait. You need to decide where you're going camping. Now younger scouts like that normally have a little bit of a challenge coming up with a place, so I'll throw out a couple options and they'll usually pick one. And then I say, great, what are you gonna eat? And again, they'll turn around and look back to mom or dad or their den leader, and again, I have to get their attention and say, no, 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 no you get to plan the menu. What are you going to eat? Now we'll follow this method and plan an entire camp out worth of meals. And if we have enough time, we'll also talk about what kind of activities they may want to do. Do we want to do some knot tying? Do we want to practice fire building? Do we want to sharpen our knife skills? Pun intended. Now one of the last points that I like to make with Weeblo Scouts is encourage them and empower them to go camping outside of the pack as long as they have an OWL certified leader. A lot of times Weeblo's leaders don't realize that they can camp outside of the pack level. And nine times out of 10, by the time I'm done giving this presentation, the Scouts will all turn to their leader and ask, can we really go on this camp out? Now when we do have new Weeblo's bridge into the troop, I do my best to make sure that there's an assistant scoutmaster and a troop guide who are completely and 100% dedicated to those new scouts to help them figure out kind of their place in the troop and how things are gonna work. Another very important meeting to have once you have new scouts bridge up into the troop is a meeting with those scouts' parents. A lot of times by this point, the parents have been involved in their Cubs activities for a better part of four years. Now when we have a meeting with these new parents, it's very important to take the time and explain to them the mechanics of advancement in a scout's BSA troop. Just as it's important for the scout to be able to explain how advancement works to earn their scout badge. One of the ways that I like to explain it to some of our new families is that me, as the scout master, I have two different jobs. My job is to train, encourage, and guide scouts to be able to lead themselves and advance through the program. 
But the other part of my job is to work as kind of a defenseman and to hold those parents back and to keep them back so that way they don't interfere with the game of scouting. To some parents, that's a relief. They're getting that drop and go program that they wanted. But for some parents, that's a little harder pill to swallow. Now for those parents that really, really wanna be involved, I try to find very small and very specific tasks that I can assign them or get their help with in order to help facilitate the movement of the troop. But I'm very hesitant to throw a newly bridged parent into an assistant scoutmaster role without really having the opportunity for them to get to see the program, how it's designed to work. But surprisingly, most of the time for our scouts, it's a very easy transition. They're just happy for another opportunity to hang out with their friends and to have some fun. All right, scouters, survey time. If you are a Cub Scout leader, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're a Scouts BSA leader, leave a comment down below and let me know what role you fulfill within your troop. As always, if you like what I had to say here, go ahead and share this with a friend. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to keep it simple, make it fun, and we'll see you at the next one. This is the Sespi Scouter saying goodnight.